After discussing the different techniques for the DNA sequencing, briefly we can focus on a sequence accuracy that how much fidelity of sequencing all of these techniques uh, may have. Uh, although there is a lot of development in different sequencing uh, procedures or technologies, but still uh, there are uh, most of the protocols that can introduce uh, different degrees of errors during the DNA sequencing uh, procedure. High performance automated sequencing machines although have uh, minimized the errors of uh, uh, DNA sequencing that are introduced due to human uh, activities uh, but still uh, problems are there. For example, in case of gel compression uh, still uh, these errors are unavoidable and most of the errors that are introduced by uh, such problems are related to base substitution. In addition to base substitutions uh, some problems related to DNA addition or deletions are also there and in molecular biology such problems they are commonly called as the uh, indels or in addition say yeah, substitution say, chahi wo single base ki substitution ho ya more than one base ki substitution ho. Uski wajah se jo reading frame hai DNA sequence ka, wo shift ho jata hai. Or is tarah se humne jo protein ka sequence ya amino acid ka sequence humne predict kiya hota hai, wo influence hota hai uh, or it is affected. And even the uh, complete sequence of the DNA segment or even the chromosome it is also uh, affected. Now, there is also a lot of development in the computational tool uh, where we can minimize such errors and especially errors related to uh, frame shift mutations. They can also be uh, detected by comparing all the six reading uh, frames by using online, online databases. Here I can uh, explain two examples related to the sequencing accuracy and the first of the work uh, it is uh, conducted in early 1990s like 1992 uh, by the group of uh, Wilson. Wilson and co-workers they analyze a stretch of uh, mouse DNA sequence, mouse DNA that uh, uh, is having the size around 96 kilo base pair and they compare after cloning in a vector around 288 uh, DNA sequences related to this particular DNA stretch. And they uh, found, uh, found that uh, if the DNA stretch it is beyond 400 base pair then the uh, frequency of error it may be around 3.2 percent. And if shorter DNA uh, fragment analyzed like less than 400 base pair, then the sequencing error it is 2.8 percent. And most of uh, those errors were related to the ambiguities in the reading of the sequences. For example, at the end of the sequences there were errors where uh, one or two bases they are repeated many times and other ambiguities or errors were related to the secondary structure of the DNA. However, they analyzed the whole sequence of that uh, DNA fragment uh, around um, 5.9 fold redundancy and they, then they finally calculated that after analyzing the whole uh, sequences that uh, the error frequency it is now many, minimized around 0.1%. This is a core example I can quote. जो के relate करती है yeast या scaromyces के DNA की sequence से मतलब है कि by using high quality procedures 35 European laboratories they analyze the sequence of a yeast especially the 11th chromosome and they find and they find out that here the sequencing accuracy it is 
that is more or less similar the examples that I quoted above. Now what type of uh, quality procedures they adopted I can explain here with the help of uh, one table. This table it uh, related to quality control of sequence data from 35 laboratories that were engaged in sequencing yeast chromosome for example 11 and different methods they used for verification. For example in case of first one original overlap between cosmets where the cosmet they were used as a vector the total number of fragments they analyzed around 28 and around 63,000 bases they verified and they detected error around 0.02% and then they again verified the data like re resequencing of selected fragments that is having the length 3 to 5 kilo base long and then resequencing was also carried out for random segments that is having the length around 300 uh, base pair and then resequencing of suspected fragments was also carried out. So in this way the average error rate was found around 0.03%. So by using different advanced sequencing techniques or technologies uh, we have sequence information that is whole uh, sequencing uh, of different type of organisms. For example uh, different type of viruses have been fully sequenced number of uh, uh, prokaryotic microbes like bacteria they are also uh, sequenced uh, in eukaryotes yeast it is the most common example in plants Arab arabidopsis sequence it is now available and uh, finally the human genome sequence it is also well famous that has uh, has been fully sequenced